All right, welcome back to my DIY. So today we are finally removing this tree here. We have just over yonder. <clears throat> it's about uh, the end of May. And this tree has done nothing. So it's figured it's about just about that time to go ahead and um, t uh, we're going to remove it and put in a apple tree uh, in its spot. Now I don't really know what this kind of tree this is. We think it's either a choke cherry or an apple tree. I was hoping it'd be a, an apple tree. And then I would cut it up and use it for, for smoking, barbecue, and stuff like that. However, we don't know for sure, and I don't want a chance uh, using choke cherry trees in my barbecue. So we're going to remove it now and then get to it. And not it's not that big of a of a tree, but it'll take a little bit to, to dig it out and remove it. So we'll get to it now. All right, the tree is out. Got the new tree right here, ready to put in. I went ahead and dug out, got rid of most of the roots down in the hole there. It's uh, 16 inches wide by about 14 inches deep. Go and get it to it. I also have some uh, tree and shrub mix just over yonder that they recommended to use. So I'm going to break this uh, container out and uh, put it put a layer of the uh, shrub mix in the bottom put the tree in and then backfill with dirt and the shrub mix. We'll get to it. Okay. And to go ahead and said to, since this is so clogged up right here, with the roots, going to break it up just a little bit. To get those roots going down, and not just within the circle here. That's they've been in their whole life. So we'll go ahead and break this up just a little bit. For the mix. Okay, now we're gonna backfill it with the uh, any dirt here we picked that we dug up. All right, so here we go. Tree's now in the ground, looking pretty. However, it, uh, it's a little windy where we live here, so we need to go ahead and stake it into the ground. I don't want to, but we have to. 
I don't want to come out one morning and have the tree be, uh, be laying down. So we'll go and stake it now. All right, so here it is. Uh, going, this took me just under an hour to do. Actually, a little, little easier than I expected it actually was gonna take. Um, I was thinking maybe it would take like half the morning, but just under an hour. Started at nine, right now it's about 9.50. So uh, not, not too long at all. So you can see now we have the four trees lined up. I'm kind of wondering too, if this tree right here is, is dead. Upon close inspection, we saw some tiny buds on it, but uh, we'll see my breath on that one um, we're hoping to get some apples on this guy next summer I'm not gonna I'm not counting on anything this year just from how planting works and how that goes so anyway just want to say thanks for watching uh, my DOI and have, have a good day everybody I'd go and go over the the, the tools I use for it use my, uh, my mad axe to get really to get into the dirt and cut up those roots the shovel just to, to clean up the uh, the area the uh, hatchet to pound in the stakes um, you'll, you, you, utility knife just to cut, cut the rope that I used for the, uh, for the poles themselves. And that's about it really. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and water the, uh, the tree a lot, not too much, to, to, to get this thing going and start growing. So, uh, I think I already ended the show, but I almost want to say thanks again. Any, any questions you guys have, just, just uh, let me know. Thanks.